Your identity is not based on your possessions and resources. Is that what you thought? You thought your identity was based on your PhD or your or your educational background or your new house, your new condo, your vacation plan, your 401k plan, your new hairdo, your nails, your fake butt, your fake titties. You know, you thought that you thought that your identity was based on how much you make a year. I believe that's what you thought your identity was based on. Is that what you thought your identity? Is that what you base? If if you thought your identity was based on that, I'm quite frankly, you thought that other people's identity was based on the same things. And that's why your relationships is not working. That's why your family is not working. Because if you you get two people that think like that, they're going to have a disaster, a fake Pleasantville lifestyle. Where they don't really love each other, they just around each other for based on their conditions, their money, status, resources, material possessions. This is what the devil has planned. He, this is what he has installed. Your identity is based on God, what's in you, who possess you, not your possessions. Jesus possess you. Don't let Satan possess you by making you think you, your identity is based on what you possess. A lot of people would be more happier if they didn't base their worth on what they possess and didn't base other people worth on what they possess. And that's when you would get a whole new, a whole new type of love called agape love. It's not based on conditions, none of that. It's a whole different type of love that when people love you, man, when when two people love each other with that agape love, it heals their body, it heals their mind, it gives them more energy, it makes them sleep better. Better, more good things start happening in your day to day life. Healing start taking place, your hair start growing, all kinds of stuff start taking place when you just. Love a person for who they are, not for what they have. Because if you do that, then you miss out. You can't really see who people are based on their possessions. I know a handful, a lot of, I know a lot of evil people with a lot of possessions or with education, fancy educational backgrounds, fancy jobs, um, a lot of money, vacation plans. I know a lot of evil people. I really do. Don't base your worth on that stuff. You go crazy. It's really not good for you. So, only thing I can say is, you want better health, you want better hair, you want better skin, you want more energy, start loving yourself based on how God view you. Love yourself on those things. Love yourself based on how you, that you, your thankfulness, living in the moment, the fact that you're actually existing right now. So many people die every day. You never know what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow you mess around and be a billionaire. It's that easy. Yes, it's that easy. Don't base your worth on your makeup. Don't base your worth on your new car. Don't base your worth on where you go to eat at. <clears throat> yes, you want to eat the most healthiest foods you can. But don't base your worth on these name brand places, name brand this, name brand that. Develop your name, the name of God. The name of Jesus is the most powerful name in existence. Yahoo, Jesus. Yah Whatever you want to say. You know what I'm saying? The most common name of it is Jesus. So, you got to always rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Always plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Because God is real. Jesus is real. Don't base your worth on these things, man. So many people walk around with low, false self-esteem and low self-esteem. 
because their mind is based on those type of things. Their mind is based on material possessions. Be the best you can be. Gain the most things you can to help out the the love, help out anybody, your your family, your loved ones. But don't base your worth on that stuff, because if it go, where your confidence gonna go? Where's your confidence gonna go? So, I really think. I really think that uh, you'll be a lot more better. If those of you out there who want relationships, those of you out there that want better health, you want to sleep better, you want to be happier on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't want to just force your happiness just on weekends. You get this. This will allow you. To, this this not basing your worth on that stuff will allow you to be more creative. Less stressed. All these things. All you got to do is just open your heart, open your mind. Allow Jesus to come in your heart. Every book, every documentary always referred to Jesus Christ. Every religion refers to the flood. There was a great flood. Every religion talks about giants. Jesus was real, man. Jesus is the only book that... Yeah, Jesus, the Bible, is the only book that have the whole complete story. They might be missing a little this and a that, you know. But we got, the, we got enough of the Bible and enough of the manuscripts to know what we got to do and to know how, to, how the story played out. How the, how the first, you know, the Old Testament, the whole book of grace and how we got to Jesus and how he died for our sins and all that stuff. We got the whole story. We don't have to guess no more. We don't have to kill them goats no more. Like in the Old Testament. We don't got to kill those lambs and goats and cows or whatever sacrifices they made to try to cover their sins for a year all we got to do now is confess with our mouth jesus is lord jesus is the savior we good bam that's all you got to do jesus is lord jesus is your savior that's it y'all so whoever programmed your mind to thinking that your worth and identity is based on your material possessions your clothes your money whether it was your family or society or TV, it ain't got to be that way. It don't got to be that way. So many people in relationships, they base the other person worth. They dismiss this person because this person don't have this, but that person have that the next year or a couple years later. Or instead of just helping a person to get what you want them to have or think they, or you would like them to have, if you're a great, you know, if you're a decent heart person, that's what you do. You help them get what they, what you think they should have. But if you're a person that's just selfish, unrealistic, unreasonable, you just you'll you'll be mad that they don't have something. And oh, they not we're not compatible because they don't have any dress clothes. They don't have no suits, or they don't eat at fancy restaurants, or they don't know what a what hookah is, or they don't eat sushi, or we we're not compatible because he don't we don't eat the same places. So many people miss out on good mates. You know they just having sexual experiences with people people after year after year, several people a year, trying to look for that fancy person that society say you supposed to act, you supposed to be, what you supposed to have. This is the type of society that we live in. Lawlessness, godlessness. This is the type. You know, but don't do that. 
Don't you do it. Don't allow yourself. Don't allow yourself to short, short, don't short stand yourself. You know, worrying about what people think. Because even if you had everything in the world, people still have to find something to talk about you on. They still have to find something to say you're not good enough. They still have to find something. So don't even fall for it. Love yourself. Love yourself. Become a, a circle of love. A sphere of love where you got a self-sustaining love bubble. You're in a self-sustaining love bubble. And this bubble allows you to, to always be in a position of confidence. In that bubble, you got the Spirit of God. In that bubble, you got anointing of God, you know, the anointing of God, which is basically the Spirit of God. In that bubble, you got everything you need. So when people betray you, they talk bad about you, it don't phase you. I'm Alan Williams, a Radiant Yeah, I love you. Jesus love you more. Radiant Nation, we out.